Kokoso everybody! Today, our next contestant is someone beyond the grave! Literally, making his name in anime, news and debut, Gripkun! Um, Gripkun? Um, excuse me! Hey! Yoohoo! All the, all the oxen free! Gripkun? <sighs> hey, uh, do we have a problem here? Gripkun, darling, is not responding, let alone greeting all of his viewers. Hmm, let's see. I guess the reason he can't talk is because he's a literal animal. He's a penguin, not a pill. Not Adderall, animal. I mean, his entire life was based around in an aquarium. Well... Aren't we in a giant pickle? Hmm. You know, I got an idea. But it's a bit stereotypical if you don't mind. What do you mean by stereotypical? Because he's a ghost, you think you can like... Possess someone? <gasps> okay, two things. One, we say in spirit. Possess is taboo to some of our viewers. And staff. Also, just because he's a ghost type, that doesn't mean he can take over things. If there's a will, there's a way. I mean, Rotom can go into electronic devices. Okay, first of all, he is not a Rotom. Do you really think that he can just... Logan, watch out! Ah! <laughs> Logan, Grape! Wait, where is Grape Coon? Ugh. Oh, there you are. Where's Grapecoon? What are you talking about? I'm right here. Oh, it's uh... What? Is there something on my face? Um, Grapecoon, darling, um, you might want to look into the bathroom. Uh, sure. Uh, whatever. Three, two, one. Oh no. Oh, what have I done? Well, I mean, you are a ghost. And, well, ghost type Pokemon can possess things or in, in spirit, sorry. Maybe, uh. Maybe you might be a Pokemon? What's a Pokemon? But anyways... But, hey, wait a minute! I can talk! So, um, uh... I hope he doesn't mind if I use his body for a little while. Well, uh, I didn't expect you to inspire someone and talk over. But, uh... uh sure. Sure, I guess. When you finally join with the love of your life forever in the afterlife, you can learn many things. In fact, I learned to speak to her from the bottom of my heart. But this is a bit... Um... Unorthodox. Before we begin... Hello everyone! Especially you ladies out there. I'm very excited to be here as much as I was given a front review of my wife performing Owls or Dreamer with all of her other friends. I heard that your life was very tragic before you met her. What was it like? Like, would you feel free to care to explain? Certainly. From being cheated on to seeing other penguins in the enclosure as I aged, I thought it was over. 20 years is roughly 100 years to humans, I guess. Until the Kimono Friends collaboration came, my life changed for the greater good. I wanted to be with her, even when those lousy zookeepers removed her! At the least they brought her back, right? They did. I bet the zookeepers were so jealous of being single in their lives, they decided to share their grudge against me. I'm sure it was raining that day, so you wouldn't want her to get all wet now, would you? Oh, it was raining that day, if I remember. I think it was also raining the day after I passed away of old age. Then afterwards, I was truly reunited with her. But she wasn't like flat anymore. She 
She was like real, like living, breathing, feeling, like huge alive. I was very shocked that she could speak. But then afterwards, I learned a lot about speaking, which is ironic because I can't do that here. That was truly a heartwarming. But uh, why are you here anyway? How did you know that there was a tournament? I did. Some red lizard called Greg the Ground, I think that's what his name was, he told me that after hearing a prayer from Craig saying that his event like should go well, and he was also looking down. And if I win, this channel will promote penguin content as long as so winning the massive Kimono Friends content. So technically, I guess the reason I'm here is by referral. If anyone is interested first, first was Kier Summer, then that little bean dog, and now you. Wow, Craig is getting a lot of contestants not many Westerners know about. I really wish Hulu was with me, but uh, I think she has like band rehearsal, so I'm just going to be gone for a little while, I guess. I'm pretty sure she would know. I see. I hope the other group is uh, backing you from above. But uh, tell me, what do you think about the Bonaparte Misatory? And you being in the first round of the first match. Wait, no, sorry, it was the other way around, but you know what I'm talking about. I have no idea who you're talking about. Also, Bona what? Who? Tori what? You don't know? Well, uh, he's big. Um... Pudgy, has like a yellow fork on his head. Oh, that's him. I have no idea what he's like. But I do know that I'm going to be facing him first. Hmm, I should be on my toes. What is he like? Well, uh, he likes to binge watch stuff. He's not much of an action person. But I mean, I guess he wouldn't mind a couple of fights or two. Um, you ever binge watch stuff? Nope, but I can hope we can do something good. Also, before my match begins, is there like an, an interpreter here or something like that? Or someone who can understand me? I really do not want to be in this body for as long as I am in the tournament. I really don't like this voice anyways, it really hurts my ears. I sure hope we can find some really good accommodations for you. Well... This first match is a huge bang that's going to get people interested or not. And I hope you actually stick around for when the first match begins. Tune in next time, darlings, for the next interview with our next challenger. Ooh, my eyes. Huh? Uh, I feel violated. <laughs> Yo koso to Japari Park! Well, I mean, welcome back to Earth. After squawking Sayonara back in 2017, Grape couldn't sense the mighty horror that reached into the afterlife. Kimono Friends has dipped into the bowels of forgetfulness. His spirit has landed him back in the tournament, hoping to revitalize the magic of humanoid animal anime. Despite something like that already existing, okay... He brings content such as anything to relating to kimono friends in general and any anime and manga created by Mina Yoshizaki and the Kadokawa manga franchise. So if you're a Kiroro Gunso fan and you want to see something like that along with uh, kimono friends, vote for Grape-kun. He also gets videos relating to penguins above cuteness and memes. So in Club Penguin, I mean, just like Club Penguin, both are dead in the flesh, but are immortal in spirit. I heard he's bringing in some sort of special guest. I wonder who it is. <laughs> <laughs>